control systems is one of those courses where it's easy to get lost in the math and forget what you're doing. So I want to give you a quick overview of what control systems is trying to accomplish. We begin with what's referred to as the plant. This is some physical system that has an input and an output. Our goal is to make the output respond a specific way for a given input. Here's an example. Let's say the plant is a house and we want to control the temperature of the house. So in our example, we have a house. The output is some temperature and this is the thermostat setting. Again, the input is the thermostat setting. The output is the temperature of the house. And what we want to happen is to have some response like this. If the user says, okay, this is the current temperature and I'm gonna change the temperature, that the corresponding output follows something like this. There's the temp current temperature and the changes the temperature and it does something like that. So the user changes the input temperature, the output temperature changes and follows. So we have lots of things that are happening here. One is that we have this match, the output, the steady state final values are the same. We have some amount of time that it takes for the change to happen. Notice that there's no overshoot here. This is what I mean when we say we give an input and we want the output to look a specific way. Unfortunately, in most systems, you do not get the output response that you want from the input. Again, here I have my plant and we are going to model the plant, the physical system, using a differential equation. Again, the goal is the output responds a specific way for certain inputs. The problem is, of course, that we can't change the plant. It's a physical system. So what we're going to do is change the differential equation by making a new plant. We can't change this plant, but what we can do is add something to the plant and this is the controller. It too is a differential equation, but it is a system that we can chain, something like a computer, and we'll measure the output and send that into the controller, and then we have a new input here. So our new system is inside this box. It has an input and an output. The output is the same as the output of the plant. The input no longer goes directly into the plant though, it goes into the controller. This new system is again, a differential equation. And the advantage to the new system is that we can decide this piece right here. So we now have a larger differential equation. Part of the differential equation is made up of the plant, the part we can't change, and part is made up of the controller, the part we can change. And the goal in control systems is to pick the controller, the part of the differential equation you can change, so that the input-output response is what you are looking for. In relation to classes you've already had, the plant and modeling the differential equation happened in MEGR 435. This piece where you measure the output, probably using an A to D converter, put it into a controller, put it back into the plant using a D to A converter. This is all part of MEGR 304. And the design of the controller itself is this class, MEGR 438.